What's up boys, so today we're gonna take another look at MBG's live streams. MBG has like the worst takes ever in his live streams, it's insane. And today we're gonna look at a clip of him where he complains about Microsoft buying studios isn't fair, but when Sony does it it's 100% okay. Anyway. With that shit out of the way, uh, let's get into the video. You have been following the whole situation regarding Activision Blizzard, Call of Duty, and the kind of back and forth between Sony and Microsoft. And I mean, there's not really a back and forth, is there? Microsoft's just gonna buy out Activision Blizzard, right? And they're getting all these things ready for when the deal goes through. And Sony's just kind of bitching about him every step of the way, trying to make it as difficult as possible for Microsoft to do this. It's like a kid, you know, whining in the fucking grocery store because his mom won't buy him like ice cream. It's completely fucking pointless. The most recent thing that happened is Microsoft's CEO was asked about the increased scrutiny because right now the CMA, which is the, the UK's regulatory body, they are, you know, they're, they're investigating this acquisition very deeply. And unfortunately for you, they can't do anything about it. Uh, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter saying shit like this. Oh, like, oh, the UK regulatory body is looking into uh, the Activision purchase. It might not go through, guys. We have some hope. But that's just not how this works. This is an American company buying out another American company. The UK has nothing to say about this. The worst thing they could do is give Microsoft a fine. And obviously Microsoft doesn't want the fine, you know, because they don't want to pay that money. But it's not like they're gonna stop this billion dollar purchase just because they're gonna get a fine from the UK. Like if they can afford to buy Activision Blizzard for billions of dollars, they can afford the fine. And you can tell that Sony is trying to make this as difficult as possible for Microsoft by coming out here and basically being like, we don't think this is a good idea. This could hurt us. This could disrupt everything and you know, the whole thing. And obviously it makes Sony look a certain way. Yeah, it makes them look like cunts. But Microsoft CEO in response to being asked about this, well, first of all, he said that they're very, very confident that it's going to go through. He also said that it's normal, you know, for an acquisition of this size to go through increased scrutiny. But then he he proceeded to just kind of call out Sony, and, and this really kind of bothered me. Finally, finally, after sitting through all that fluff, the inner PlayStation fanboy of MBG reveals himself in all its pathetic fucking glory, I guess. Yeah, I'm sure you had a problem with it, mate. I'm also sure that whenever Sony fucks with Microsoft or, you know, makes fun of Microsoft, it doesn't bother you at all, but the second Microsoft says anything back, uh, it, it's suddenly a problem, sure. Not because of what he's saying, because it's like, I mean, look, he's Microsoft CEO. Just like I said, Jim Ryan, he's out here saying what he has to say, regardless of how hypocritical it may seem or how ridiculous it may look, because it's his job to do so. The same exact thing can be said for Microsoft CEO. It doesn't matter if you understand why he's saying it. I mean, that helps, but the fact that you're already bothered by the fact that he did that, even though whenever Jim Ryan does it, and Jim Ryan does it too, he admits it right here, uh, this guy's never, never has a problem with it, right? But when Microsoft does it, it's a problem. It, it bothers him, you know? He basically called out Sony and said, look, depending on how you look at it, we're number four, number five in the gaming industry. Sony's number one. And Sony just made, what, three acquisitions of their own in the same period? And he said, so if this is about competition, then let us compete. And Again, it's, it's not what he's saying that is strange to me. It's, it's the way I'm seeing people react to what he's saying. Yeah, because people are agreeing with him. They agree with what the CEO of Microsoft said, and it bothers you. Because, you know, when people support Microsoft in, uh, I guess, acquiring more studios, then it's a huge problem. But when Sony does it again, it doesn't matter, man. Sony can do whatever the fuck they want, okay? If they want to buy out studios, that's fine. If Xbox buys studios, then it's a problem and it's destroying the gaming industry. Makes perfect sense, my guy. No hypocrisy here. That is kind of really putting me off here because, again, if you're Microsoft CEO, that's what you're going to do. You're going to try to make it seem like the Activision Blizzard deal is not a big deal at all. No, obviously it's a big deal. 
all that he's really saying is that it's not going to destroy the entire industry as Sony has been, you know, portraying this acquisition. They've been, you know, creating this narrative that if Microsoft buys Activision Blizzard, our entire, you know, industry will just collapse and Microsoft will become a monopoly. That's not going to happen. That's not how that works. And he also rightfully points out that Sony has made big acquisitions in buying certain studios for themselves as well. And, you know, you're just making one acquisition. Look at Sony. Sony's number one. You know, look at how big they are in gaming. They're making their own acquisitions and nobody seems to care. And it's like, okay, yeah, again, you have to do this because it's your job. But I expect better from people. I don't know why I expect better from people. You would think by this point in time, I would know not to expect better from people. Shut the fuck up, man. What's your problem with what he said? Honestly, what did he say that wasn't true? Sony is the biggest publisher in gaming. They're bigger than Microsoft. Okay, they have made big acquisitions uh, fairly recently. What is the problem with what he said? But when I'm seeing people kind of parade what Microsoft CEO saying around and acting, acting as if like, yeah, like let, let them compete. Like, come on, Sony's number one. Like Microsoft has every, you know, this is the same thing. Like that's, that's, this is where we are reaching truly a new level of insincerity that I, I just, I don't know that I can partake in because if we are going to, Honestly, if all of us are going to, metaphorically speaking, sit down at the table, okay, we're all going to sit down at the table and we're going to look each other in the eye and we're going to say, you know what? You know what? I think he's right. I think that Sony acquiring Haven Studio, Sony acquiring Savage Game Studios, and Sony acquiring Bungie. I, you know, that if, if Sony can acquire these three companies and no one bats an eye and, and everybody's just fine with that, but Microsoft wants to acquire the entirety of Activision Blizzard and all of their IP, um, yeah, that's fair. That's the same thing. It's all fair game. If, if, if that's really where we are at right now, then here's the thing. Okay, yeah, let me just cut in here uh, because he's speaking incredibly slowly and it takes a very fucking long time for him to get to his points. He is wrong. This guy is wrong. He is dumb. He's probably mentally challenged. Uh, yes, it is the same thing. Maybe not exactly. The difference is Microsoft has more money, therefore they can buy bigger, you know, companies than Sony can. But again, if Sony had Microsoft money, they would also buy bigger publishers like if sony could buy activision blizzard they would and they would give zero fucks about what uh microsoft would have to say about it but yeah sony buying very large studios mind you like insomniac and bungie is indeed the same as xbox buying large companies now yes there is a difference microsoft can buy larger companies because they have more money but that's the only real difference. And it's not like they bought up half the industry. I can play that game too. It's actually not difficult for me to do so only because it's like, look, I'm not Sony. I, I, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not the one that has to worry about necessarily my, my platform losing games potentially because worst case scenario, I, I can go over to Xbox. I, I can play Xbox through my PC, you know, or any games that Microsoft has. Then what is the fucking problem? Right, if you can't play these games anyway because you have a PC, then what is the problem? Oh, I know what the problem is. You have blind loyalty to a company. You know, so if if we want to do this scenario now where, okay, so Sony started this because they made this game exclusive and they paid for exclusive rights for this game and, and they made Spider-Man exclusive. Uh, okay. All right, so so that that's going to elicit a response from Microsoft. So Microsoft's response is now going to be, well, all right, we have to we have to buy our own stuff now. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna compete on a on a level that we haven't before by buying publishers. And to kind of, I just want to I, I just want to simplify this picture just so we have a clear understanding of what we're looking at. 
and I, and, and and it's I feel like we're just treading the same ground, but. But I just want to make I want to try to make a clear stance at this point because it's it's clear that this is not going to stop, and th and that's the thing I, I I have to emphasize with this is it's clear that you know Microsoft they're going to keep pushing, Sony's going to keep pushing. That's just how it's going to be until this deal is done, um, and whether that's it ends in it it got blocked or it ends and it went through, this is what's going to happen. So let me, let me I'm going to try to paint this picture as clearly as I can. Oh my God! Fucking speak, dude, speak. Like, he's repeating himself so fucking much, and he's quiet for fucking way too long. And we all know why it is, it's because he's live, and he doesn't have an actual argument. So he has to quickly think up something, so that he can keep up the appearance of being smart, while he's actually really fucking dumb. For pretty much the entirety of the modern console business and market, with, you know, the main three... Sony, Nintendo, Microsoft, uh, they've all been kind of operating on the same level, okay? And to, to claim that they have not been operating on the same level is just a lie. Yeah, okay, sure. I'm going to cut him off here because after this, he goes on a long fucking tangent about like how the market fluctuates and all that shit, and I don't care. So uh, yeah, he, he's wrong <laughs> again. Yeah, they've always kind of been on the same level, but... Sony has been keeping a lot, and I mean a lot, of mainly JRPGs like Final Fantasy and Persona exclusive to their platform. It's only recently that they've been starting to go to other platforms. That's not fair, dude. That's not operating on even ground. Like, it's one thing to make an exclusive game yourself and put it on your machine, and it's another thing to pay companies like Square Enix to keep their games off of Xbox. Okay, well anyway, with that being said, this is the end of the video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.